Hey everybody, hope you're having a fantastic evening. If you don't know who I am, my name is John Manley, self-made, self-taught in the sales industry. Been doing this for about 10 years. I've worked my way up from being a telemarketer to an executive vice president uh, for a technology company managing a little over $20 million in the annual revenue. Now the point of tonight's video is to discuss the most effective way to leave a voicemail. Is it worth leaving a voicemail? Um, and if you are going to, what is the most efficient way uh, to, to do it, what you want to talk about, and uh, what's your probability of being called back. So uh, to tackle the first question, is it worth leaving a voicemail? Breaks down very mathematically for me. If you do not leave a voicemail, your chances of being called back are pretty close to zero. Not very good. If you do leave a voicemail, um, the general market is not going to call you back, but if you do uh, make sure that your voicemail uh, has a very, very good value statement, a very good uh, differentiating form to it that sets you apart from the, uh, your competition that's contacting your prospect, there's a good chance they're going to contact you back if you hit them at the right time uh, and give them something that, that sparks their curiosity. So. When I mentor people, a lot of people ask me to give them a script or help them write down very specific things to say in a voicemail. I know that's not the most efficient way um, to plan out a voicemail. People do not appreciate being sold to, they don't appreciate being pitched at, and they don't appreciate if someone sounds like they're reading a script to them. A more effective way of uh, being able to sound personal um, and to say what best flow is you know, from your own tongue is to just break down in bullet points the five categories or the five sections of a voicemail. Uh, and that way you can always stay on track, you're not going to lose where you are, you're not going to babble, uh, you're not going to say things that are not necessary and then skip things that you should be. So what are the five sections that are required for a successful voicemail? First, of course, your introduction. Who are you? What company you're calling with? Second is the point of your call. What product are you selling? What service are you providing? Uh, give them a good description uh, of the point. Uh, and, and the service that you help them out with. Third, what differentiates you specifically, your product, your company, and yourself from your competition and your target's alternative options? Why should they care about you? What makes you different? Um, and make it good enough, make it that it's going to spark their curiosity uh, and it's going to hit them at a pain point that the competition is not bringing up so that they do take the motivation to call you back. Fourth, um, is a good action plan. Uh, what would you like to see happen next? Are you going to stop by for a visit? Would you like to schedule a lunch? Would you like to have them contact you back? Do you want to call them back in two days? Make sure you define specifically what you're going to do next. What really bugs me is when people call, sales people call me and they say, I don't want to sell you anything. I just want to uh, ask you a few questions. Of course you want to sell me something. Don't start off a conversation by trying by lying to me or being dishonest because you think it's going to open me up. The point of a salesperson calling me is because they want to sell me something. If that's not their point, they're not going to survive in the role for more than six months anyway, in which case I shouldn't waste my time talking to them anyway because they're going to disappear. If they're a good salesperson, they want to find a need and they do want to sell me a product and a solution that's going to solve my pain point and going to solve my need. And then fifth, uh, the conclusion, the ending, the closing, uh, your contact information um, twice. Always repeat your contact information. I always prefer to get my phone, phone uh, twice as well as my email uh, for them to be able to contact me back. Um, and then specifically let them know when you're going to reach back out to them if you do not hear back from them. So what are the five points of a successful voicemail? One, the introduction. Who are you? What company are you calling with? And what product are you selling? Two, the primary point of your call. Three, what differentiates you from the competition? What's going to spark their curiosity? Four, what is your action plan? What would you like to see as the next step that happens? And five, the closing. Your contact information twice. Always speak slowly, email as well as your phone, uh, and make sure you let them know when you're going to contact them back again. So again, if you have any questions, um, I'm always happy to discuss. Thanks for watching. Again, my name is John Manley. If you appreciated this video, please like and share. Have a fantastic evening, everyone. Thank you. Bye.